What's up guys, John John the Wise here and I have an exciting video for you guys today. I was one of the lucky few to be able to check out the new Cyberpunk Red Jumpstart kit before it was released out to the public in the intention to review it. And uh, I mean, I can't tell you guys how honored I am to be involved in this entire journey of Cyberpunk Red. In this video, I wanted to cover a few things, but first I wanted to talk about what Cyberpunk means to me. Uh, I grew up playing Cyberpunk in the early 2000s. I was introduced to it from my friend, and never in a million years did I ever think that there was going to be a resurgence of it, or let alone a AAA title game coming out of it. It was really one of my first tabletop RPGs that I've ever played. This is the first major cyberpunk release from Artel Saurian Games since the early 90s. So, I mean, a lot of us fans that have been playing Cyberpunk 2020 for years, you know, we this the it's this is it. It happened. The day has come where they're making an updated version, a new version, a 2019 look at Cyberpunk and everything that it entails. You know, and we had so many questions. We didn't know if it was gonna be better. We didn't know if it was gonna be worse. We didn't know what was gonna happen. You know, Cyberpunk 2020, it's just one of those games that you would ask your friends to play, but they really just wanted to play D&D, &D, and it just didn't catch their attention. But we're in a different era now. We're in a different time where people are asking about it, and a lot of the world of Cyberpunk is familiar to us because it's similar to our world today. So this is like that perfect convergence of new players, new game, new excitement, and they're coming up with brand new rules and reworks for stuff that, you know, hasn't been touched since the early 90s. So to say that my expectations are high is an understatement because, I mean, I expect this to be it. I expect this to fix any of the issues that I've had. I've, I expect this to be streamlined for new players, for new uh, GMs, new referees. And I, I have a lot of high expectations for this. So let's let's just get straight into it. So first, I wanted to talk about what this jump start kit is. What is the Cyberpunk Red Jump Start Kit? What does that mean? What what is it? Then I wanted to talk about the art. Then I wanted to talk about the combat changes and the net running changes. What's going on with net running in Cyberpunk Red? Then in conclusion, I'm going to give you guys my overall opinion of the Cyberpunk Red Jumpstart Kit. So what is a Jumpstart Kit? What is the Jumpstart Kit? So from what I've seen and read in, inside the contents of this kit, it is meant to be an easy to use, easy to understand, all-in-one, all-inclusive box to get started in playing Cyberpunk Red. It has everything that you need right out the box for you and your buddies to just start playing you just got to do a little bit of reading it's like 40 pages of rule book and then next and then you're ready that's it you're ready to play now i noticed that some of the content in the rule book has been left out intentionally and it even says it right there it tells you that the core rule book will have more detailed looks on all of this stuff and uh, it's really apparent that this jumpstart kit is just so people can start playing Cyberpunk Red, the new version of Cyberpunk, before the core rulebook comes out. Now, as far as what the contents are, it has a battle map, it has pre-generated characters, it has a rulebook, a lore book, and it even has a GM reference guide. So basically, this kit has everything you need. You you would just buy it and you can straight up just start playing Cyberpunk Red. Now let's talk about the art in the Jumpstart kit. Before we really get into the art, I think we need to talk about the significance of the art in Cyberpunk. The original Cyberpunk Core rulebook has some really iconic photos, especially the, the front cover with the guy and the, the girl in the back and the cool car. It's like that retro futurism. It tells you everything. It tells you everything about the game in that picture and everything that you need to know to get started. Then inside there are those really cool black and white drawings that are typical of the of the time of the 90s and stuff like that. So the art, you know, it's it has a really special place in my heart and a lot of the fans too. 
So the art had to be just as important as any of the other aspects. And I got to tell you guys, the art is amazing. It's it's beautiful. It's modernized. It's It's got the look. It's got everything that is cyberpunk. Every picture tells you a story. You could just stare at it, look at the characters, and and look at the backgrounds and the different things that are in it and you're like oh yeah I, I, I can totally see this world I can understand it I can make I can make a story out of this and that's what really that's what it was all about from the beginning the art is impeccable it's amazing it's well done and I can't wait to see more from the core rulebook now let's talk about some of the combat changes in the uh, rulebook that was in the jumpstart kit there you know I dove in right away I couldn't wait to see what was going on uh, one of the biggest things that I wanted to look at was combat. Combat in Cyberpunk 2020 had two major gripes about it that really needed, you know, a rework or take somebody needed to look at it and just, you know, assess the situation. Number one was how deadly the combat can be. You know, people tear up their character sheets often. And number two was how complicated it is. And, and complicated not because it's hard to do it's just time consuming there are so many things so many factors they really wanted to pay attention to detail and realism so you know everybody's turn would take ages you know on top of net running you know that's a whole other mini game so when it's your turn you have so many things you can do so many roles and calculations to do that by the time it's the fourth player's turn order i mean you really have to love cyberpunk to to play it or you more than likely from my experience made your own homebrew rules just to just to move things along you know now as far as the lethality they didn't really change anything about that they might maybe they uh i don't know it's hard to tell because i haven't actually played it but just from reading uh, what they've done to it, the lethality is still there. It can be whatever you want it to be, but I like the option that it can be as lethal as it is, because you know gunfights are lethal. There's there's no real there's someone's gonna die, you know, someone's gonna get really injured or die in a gunfight, and that's what cyberpunk is really all about. It's survival. Now, as far as the crunch or the calculations and complications of combat, I mean they did it. They figured it out. They modernized it in this jumpstart kit. There's things that they took out, and I'm not sure if they took it out because uh, they just wanted to make simplified rules for the jumpstart kit, or if we're going to see more detailed rules in the core rulebook. But what I can tell from reading the jumpstart kit, combat is going to be, you know, at least half the time as it would be in Cyberpunk 2020. It's just streamlined. Everything is just easier to understand. Everything is, you know, uniform. All you need is a quick reference as a GM, and you'll probably memorize those references with time, and that's it. You, you'll be able. Combat just happens. It's smooth. Everything is perfect. The way that they designed it is exactly what it needed in 2019. And you know, there's some hardcore Cyberpunk 2020 fans that might not like the changes, but we saw with D&D 5e that simplification brought D&D to brand new heights. It brought it to a level that almost made it an untouchable thing. I mean, I don't know if there's any other tabletop RPG that will ever reach the height of D&D, especially at D&D 5e. There were so many new players I wanted to play, so many new people coming to the scene, and a lot of it had to do with over just simplifying it. And I, I don't know if our Talsorian Games saw D&D 5e as an example for what they did with their game but i think they understood that simplification can bring your game to new heights it can bring it'll it can just because something is simplified doesn't mean that you're diminishing the quality of the product in fact i think that simplifying it just helps gives you more room for all the other beautiful things that are involved with the product and that's exactly what they did they took a lot of things into consideration and i think that it really it was a really good approach to it it was a very humble approach to it and overall i have to say i love it i love the combat i honestly can't even go back to cyberpunk 2020 combat my game that i'll be starting the wise guys season two or chapter two the i'll be using the cyberpunk red rules because i just can't go back now after looking at it that's it it's over 
So overall, I really love it. I love the combat changes, and I'm excited to try it out. Let's talk about net running. You know, this is one of those things for those of you guys that are not familiar with net running in Cyberpunk 2020. Well, first of all, let's start with this net running and hacking and jacking into computer systems and doing stuff like that. I mean, that's what Cyberpunk is all about. That's like one of the major themes of Cyberpunk. You can't have that Cyberpunk story without some sort of hacking or getting into a system and using technology net running was its own little complicated thing but it that's a whole new video on itself i can do a 25 minute video about net running in cyberpunk 2020 but the gist of it was it was a little too complicated and it split the party so a lot of in my experience a lot of people they would just skip net running or they would make net running simple roles and then uh, it was just skill checks and stuff like that. And that kind of just diminishes the the coolness of being a net runner. So you just got a bunch of techies and solos and stuff like that net running and uh, just doing some roles and not playing any of the mini game and skipping that content altogether. I have honestly never played in a game with a net runner. I've never done the net running mini game because it was just too much. It was too much for me to prepare. It was too much for any of the dungeon masks or sorry, GMs that I played with. It was too much for them to prepare. And we just skipped it all together. So we were all waiting for this. We were waiting to see what's going to happen. You know, they, they have to change it. They absolutely have to change net running. They have to make it something that people want to do. The idea of the internet and social media and cell phones and all that stuff, that was how could anyone ever know that we live in the world that we live in now? So with the limited, you know, technology that we had then and the storytelling aspect and stuff like that, I understood that they were trying to make some kind of like Tron world, you know, where you go into this system and and then there's all kinds of programs coming to get you and stuff like that i get the idea of it but like i said it was just so complicated that people just skipped it all together it was just too much it was already hard enough with the combat we didn't need to have a complicated mini game on top of that so so how's the net running in the cyberpunk red jumpstart kit they did it man <laughs> they did it it's 2019 and the next iteration of cyberpunk cyberpunk red is introducing a new rework for the netrunner and i gotta tell you guys the netrunner went from something that is just on the back burner that nobody wants to play because it's so complicated to an essential part of your party now i will say that again the netrunner is an essential part of your party now and as a gm i'm excited to have a netrunner as a player i'm excited to set it up i'm excited to do all the things that i want to do with the net runner and give them options and cool things that they can do and wait and see what kind of creative stuff they can come up with and see what kind of backstory they come up with too it's just i mean i don't know how else to say it other than they figured it out it went from being a complicated mini game that's hard to grasp and bogs down the game to a mini game that's easy to understand easy to play and now they don't split the party anymore so the the idea of how it used to be is the net runner would be in like some kind of panic room or in a bathtub with kevlar and steel plates all around him and he would just be hacking the net the internet from remotely from where he was and he'd open doors for you and turn off cameras but he's nowhere in danger the reason you do that is because they're not really good at combat so you know or generally they're not supposed to be that good at combat so really you wouldn't take them with you there's no point they'd just be a liability but now you know they've introduced this new lore i'm not giving anything away it's already to the it's in the public realm but in the new lore the net is pretty much a landmine it's just it's just a minefield of of programs that can kill you in the real world if you're traversing it so it's just too dangerous to go through the only way you'll be able to hack things is if you're within the control nodes range with within its perimeter so that means you have to take the net runner with you the netrunner comes with you while you're in the middle of combat he's having his own combat that is not complicated 
you know, it's easy to understand and he's helping the party while being proactive. So th- it, that's it. They just did it right. They, I didn't know if they were going to make it some, you know, some dice rolls and, and, you know, some skill checks, much like most people do with their game. Uh, I didn't know what they were going to do. And to be honest with you, I'm blown away with this idea that they came up with this, the, that stays true to the original Cyberpunk 2020 Netrunner way of, you know, playing the game, the style. It stays true to that, but it's a brand new look at it. And it's it's modern. It makes sense. I get it. You know, I can make the argument that I understand why it works. Um, so overall, I love it. You know, the two major things in Cyberpunk that we've all been waiting for: combat and net running. They, it's a home run. Home run. Now, if you guys want more information on it, you know, the Jumpstart Kit will come out soon on uh, on August first. It will release. Uh, that is the day after Gen Con. If you're at Gen Con 2019, you can buy your own physical copy of the Jumpstart Kit. And I believe it's retailing for about $30. But if you're not going to be there and you're okay with the PDF version, the PDF version will be available, I believe, August 1st, if not August 2nd. It'll be available on drivethroughrpg.com and maybe some other retailers too. I'm not sure. You probably want to check in on that. But it'll it'll uh, retail for about fifteen dollars, and I got to tell you, it's it's worth it. It has everything that you need, so you can start playing Cyberpunk Red. I mean, just to give you guys perspective, I can't wait to start playing it. You know, I've already begun converting my Cyberpunk twenty twenty game to the Cyberpunk Red system that's available in the Jumpstart kit, and it's easy to do. You know, there's some stats that got moved around and some new stats brought in. But that's no big deal. We can figure that out. Really, I just want to implement the new combat and net running and, um, you know, new stats and stuff like that. The way they do things, I want to implement it as soon as possible because they fixed all the issues that all the gripes I had, all the things that I had to homebrew to make it satisfactory to me. You know, they don't I don't have to do that anymore. There's a system that I like, you know. And I can't wait to use it. Now, before I end this video, I have to absolutely say a big thank you to Jay Gray at Artelsorian Games for including me and, you know, and helping me out and and just being just a positive force in all of this. She's like one of the best community managers that I've ever met. A big thank you to Maxima Mike, of course, for creating Cyberpunk and giving us this beautiful world and you know, thank you guys for, I just want to say thanks, you know, for this whole thing the, you guys did it. You really did it. You know, I don't know if the jumpstart kit is the whole thing. I don't know if there's stuff that we're missing, but if it's consistent with a product that, you know, you guys are presented for us, then I'm honestly excited to see what you guys have for us. And I want to say thank you to all my supporters on YouTube, uh, all you guys on Reddit, on the Cyberpunk 2020 subreddit and everybody in the official Art Talsorian Discord for being so positive and encouraging. And every time I post something, you guys have been so cool about it. And, you know, I, I'm blown away, honestly. I'm blown away by how cool you guys are about it. And it's just like this driving force for me to keep making new content. And I'm going to do it. I'm going to keep making new content for you guys. So big thank you to all you guys. Now, more videos will be coming soon. So please like, subscribe, and share with your friends. And, you know, you'll get some more Cyberpunk Red and Cyberpunk Red sessions. Everything that you need to play. So thank you guys once again. Love you guys. See you on the next video. Bye.